It's 10 p.m. on a Saturday, and you know what? We are getting lit with my ring lights and my light boxes. Hi guys, it's Christy, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are back with a super exciting video. This is a video I have not done on my channel yet, and I've been waiting for my shipment from Wish to Arrive to film this video. But today, we are going to be comparing Wish slime palettes versus Etsy slime palettes, which I'm so excited about. And for the moment you guys have all been waiting for, I'm giving away AirPods 2. This is the one with the wireless charging case. And one of you guys is going to win this. So exciting. So if you guys want to enter the giveaway, make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to be announcing all the rules and everything you need to do to enter the giveaway. Super simple. So just make sure you watch till the end and find out how to enter to win. And for today's post notification shout out, there are four of you guys. And the first one goes out to Jenna Juice, Kiara Cole, Larissa Hoyle, and Carly. Talon. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on and if you guys want to get shouted out in my next video Make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down down below when you have done that And I think that's about it for this intro. So let's just get right into the slime palette reviews Woo! Starting off we have a slime palette from wish this palette was inside of a ziploc bag and then it was plastic wrapped This container felt pretty heavy duty, but when I tried opening it I broke the part that locks the container together, but this palette came with six different colors of slime and there were five Ziploc baggies filled with glitters, charms, beads, and pom-poms. So you could add them in yourself, which was a really nice touch and it was a lot of fun. So I paid $10 for this palette and shipping was $6. So altogether it was $16, which I thought wasn't that bad of a price. And after I added everything to the palette, I must say that this looks so aesthetic and pretty. And it does look pretty similar to the listing also. They did provide way more glitters than what was seen in the listing, but I personally love that. So that was great. Every slime in here was a cloud slime, which I was actually pretty excited about because I've had better luck with the cloud slime textures on Wish than any other texture. So this first slime is a yellow cloud slime. It was very sizzly and fluffed up a lot, but it did have a lot of snow fallout and also some of the pom-poms and beads had a hard time sticking to it. But besides the snow fallout, I thought that this texture was pretty good. It was super soft and fluffy. This green slime gave me Easter vibes, especially with the tinsel glitter and Easter bunny charms it came with. This one had the same amount of snow fallout and there were a bunch of Fimo slices and glitters I added in as well. And a lot of the Fimo slices were falling out, but some of them were sticking, which was nice. But overall, it was still a very soft and fluffy texture as well. The white cloud slime came with two sections, so I just combined the two together, but I think this section was equal to the other ones in the palette. So this one came with pretty star confetti pieces and rainbow star glitters, and also came with a cute rainbow charm. This slime was very sizzly and fluffy as well. Other than the snow fallout, I feel like these cloud textures were actually pretty decent. Lastly, we have this pink, blue, and purple cloud slime mix. This was definitely my favorite with all of the add-ins and the texture of this one just felt so different too. This one felt extra fluffy and soft and it was super spreadable as well. I also love the color combination and had so much fun mixing this one together. Overall, I thought this palette was pretty decent for the price and for all of the add-ins and charms it came with, it was definitely a reasonable price. There was a lot of snow fallout and the container itself broke. So overall, I'm going to rate it an 8.5 out of 10. Not bad, Wish. Not bad. Next up, we have a clear slime palette from Wish. 
I paid $4 for the palette and shipping was $4, so my total was $8. This one was pretty interesting because all the slimes came separated in Ziploc baggies. So I just opened up all the bags and placed them in the container that they provided. They actually gave more slime than what fit in the container, which was really nice. I really love the look of this palette and how they included five different colors and types of slimes. So this first slime is a metallic slime and the pigment in this is so pretty. I love the one that they used for the slime. And next we have a clear fishbowl slime. It was kind of hard to play with a small amount of slime, but these definitely had more of a, like a putty texture. They weren't too stretchy and they would rip pretty easily. Here we have a dark clear purple colored slime and this one had a pretty stiff texture as well and it ripped pretty easily. This next slime is a clear slime with foam beads and this one was also very stiff and the foam beads were kind of falling out. They wouldn't stick to the slime. So this one wasn't really a good texture. This last slime is a light purple clear slime with some glitters in it and this texture felt so different from the other ones. It was actually a little bit stretchier and it was really nice. So overall, I'm going to rate this palette a 6 out of 10. I like how they included different types of slimes but for the texture, most of them just ripped and they weren't very stretchy. Next up, we have a slime palette from Gen Slimes. This palette came nicely bubble wrapped and it came with their business card and an airhead. It was so satisfying opening this palette up and all these slimes were scented so the scents just kind of hit you all at once and it smelled amazing. This first slime is a marbled purple and blue cloud slime and it came with pretty confetti unicorn glitters. It smelled like it was scented like cotton candy, which I really liked. And this texture was so nice. It was a little bit dense, so it wasn't really a cloud slime. I think it was more like a cloud dough texture, but it was just very fluffy and soft and I really liked it. Here we have the biggest slime in the palette. This one came with a unicorn flatback charm. It had a sweet candy scent to it. I couldn't really tell what it was, but I really love the scent. It wasn't too strong or anything. And the texture of this one was so soft and fluffy too. And it had a slight drizzle to it. it definitely was a little more dense and felt like a cloud dough like the previous one, but I really liked it. Next, we have a yellow and orange marbled cloud slime. This one kind of had like a cookie like scent to it. I'm loving the texture of their cloud slimes a lot. This one was so smooth and creamy as well. Here we have a pretty purple snow fizz slime. This one was a little bit sticky, but it was still super sizzly and crunchy. I love how they included a snow fizz texture in this palette to give more of a variety. I couldn't really tell what this was scented like. It kind of smelled like cotton candy, but I'm probably way off, but I really liked it too. Next up, we have another cloud slime. This one felt more like a cloud cream because it had a little bit more of a wet residue to it. It was still very smooth and spreadable and I think it was scented like grape. I really am so bad at telling scents, but I feel like this one was definitely grape scented. Next, we have a red cloud slime that is the same texture as the previous purple cloud slime. This one came topped with Fimo slices and glitters. I want to say that this one is scented like fruit punch and I feel like I'm 99% right about that and it would fit the aesthetic because of the fruit Fimo slices. Overall, I really like this one too. It was super soft and creamy. Next, we have another snow fizz slime. This one is a pretty orange color texture of this one wasn't as sticky as the purple snow fizz. I really like this one a lot. And the slime had great sizzles and it's scented just like oranges. It smells so delicious. Next we have this clear slime and the two corner slimes were the same so I combined both together. Some of the purple snow fizz mixed into this one so that's why there's a little bit of purple in it. 
But anyways, this is a yellow clear micro foam slime with yellow and green foam beads in it. This slime was a little bit melted, so I activated it again, and I might have overactivated it because it was kind of stiff afterwards. But I still really like the texture of this one, and it smelled like pineapples. Moving on, we have the green cloud slime that came topped with pretty glitters. This one had a fruity scent to it as well. They did such a good job with their cloud slimes. I'm really impressed. They're all just so soft and creamy and have a nice drizzle to them. And lastly, we have this blue cloud slime. Same soft, creamy texture as the other cloud slimes, and it was scented with a fruity scent as well. So overall, I'm going to rate this whole palette a 10 out of 10. I really just loved everything, the presentation, packaging, all of the colorful slimes and textures. And by the way, I paid $15 for this palette and shipping was $3.85. So price was definitely reasonable as well. And lastly, we have a slime palette from KK Slimes USA. They include a cute little extras baggie with two peeps and a chocolate and also included their business card, borax, and a lollipop. So the palette itself was nicely bubble wrapped and I love their logo, but this palette came broken unfortunately and the clear slimes mixed everywhere. So since the palette was broken, I couldn't close it after I was done using it, which kind of stinks. So I have it taped up right now, but anyways. This palette does look really pretty in their listing, and I wish the clear slimes didn't mix because this probably would have looked so cute. But it looks like this palette came with four different slimes. There were two clear slimes and two cloud slimes, and I ended up mixing the clear slimes together since there wasn't much left after they leaked out. But honestly, when I mixed the two slimes together, I thought this looked so pretty. There are marshmallow foam beads, there are small foam beads, and also some pretty crown and star glitters. I love how crunchy this slime is, and it had really good bubble pops as well. It had some kind of scent to it. It was a really light scent, but I couldn't really tell what it was. But I really like the slime a lot. Next, we have a cloud slime that came with two cute gummy bear charms. This cloud slime felt a little bit stiff compared to the cloud slimes from the previous palette. Maybe it had something to do with a broken container, but whenever I stretched it, it kind of just ripped and it felt a little bit dry. It just wasn't very stretchy or soft like normal cloud slimes, but it had a nice vanilla scent to it, which I really liked. And lastly, we have this pretty unicorn marbled cloud slime. This slime was marbled with a light blue and green slime, and it came topped with a unicorn charm. This cloud slime felt a lot softer than the white one, and it actually had a decent drizzle to it, which was nice. This was definitely my favorite slime out of the palette. This one smelled like it was cotton candy scented as well. It had a really light scent, which I liked. So overall, I am going to rate this palette an 8 out of 10. The container was broken and the slimes ended up mixing. And I also found the white cloud slime kind of stiff, but other than that, everything else was great. I paid $10 and shipping was $4.81. So compared to the previous palette from Etsy, I feel like the price was a little bit higher for the amount of slime I got, but I still thought this palette was pretty decent. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know who you guys thought had the better palettes. Was it Wish or was it Etsy? And let me know if you guys want to see a part two because I do have more Wish palettes coming but I haven't purchased any from Etsy. So let me know if you guys know any slime shops that sell slime palettes that you guys want to see me review. And I'll definitely do that in a future video. And if you guys are interested in entering to win the AirPods giveaway, for the rules, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel. So if you aren't already, make sure you click the red subscribe button down below and become a part of the case squad and for bonus entries you can follow me on my twitter instagram and snapchat i'll have all
all my handles on the screen right now. You get one bonus entry for every account that you follow me on. So just leave your usernames down below for any account that you follow me on. And if you don't have any of them, you can still enter. Just leave your email or something if I can't contact you through YouTube. So I have a way to reach out to you if you're chosen as the winner. This giveaway is international and open to everyone. So all of you can enter. And the end date of the giveaway will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys look out for that. But good luck to everyone entering. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching today's video. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!